Okay, so this arena build came from a suggestion from someone in the comments. It's not a build that's like particularly unique. I've seen other people do this build before, but it's still a pretty fun build to go for, and that build is Tiger Rhino Snake. Also, just ignore the fact that I tried to buy that fish there. You can't buy four things on turn one, but you know, you learn something new every day. But yeah, so Tiger Snake Rhino. The idea is the Rhino is good against summon builds, kinda. Like, the problem is that if they have like one melon armor, the Rhino chain just kinda uh, stops because it no longer kills the actual summon units, but it just tries to go through all of the summon, like, team. So if they have a uh, one melon armor, then it kinda stops it. You can go Tiger Rhino, but. Then you have to have like level 2 Tiger Rhino or even level 3 in order to actually kill anything. Because like the turkey kind of gives in-shot buffs that prevent the Rhino from actually killing anything. So if you're going against an actual good summon team, the Rhino oftentimes just does not work and is actually not very good. But with the Tiger Snake, like things can actually work out pretty well here. Because you're getting those extra shots, you can pop melon armor, you can also just like really reduce the health of the units and so it just ends up being a really good anti-summoning build and i know there's a lot of summon haters out there like i don't really mind summon builds in fact i've kind of gone them myself and so you know if i were to hate it then i would just end up uh you know let's not think about it anyway the point is like sometimes the deuce go summon builds it works pretty well in verses as well especially in smaller lobbies i think you can actually win lobbies with summon builds but once you start getting into big lobbies, there's like pretty much no chance because someone's going to get a good scaling build and probably have a leopard. And like the real anti summon build counter is usually just leopards and like tiger leopard or parrot leopard, something like that. Also, I kind of forgot to mention, I took two camels. I don't know why. I think camels so bad. But, you know, when I saw two of them, I got a little excited. And it's like, hey, I can maybe get level two camel pretty quickly. Who knows? Anyway, uh, decided to put Badger in the back, no B, because I don't want to win too fast. Usually just draws are pretty good. When trying to go for like a specific build, I want to get everything to level 3 as quick as possible. And in order for that to happen, you gotta draw some rounds. What was I talking about? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, so Tiger Leopard is the way to beat summon builds, but this can kind of work. The problem is it will lose to a lot of other builds that aren't summon builds, I think. Like, you just need one pretty strong unit in the front and then like your melon gets popped by mosquito and then your team's kind of ruined you can also go so one thing that's great with tiger snake is a fly and then you just get an extra trigger off of that tiger snake so that can go well together um also this round i kind of i didn't even mention i went badger camel luckily like there was no mosquito because if a mosquito sniped that camel then it would die to the leopard but you can see I got extremely good luck here. I got early monkey and early rhino. Like, what is that RNG? That's kind of crazy. The only thing is, like, if you also want to try to go rhino, you can buy a bunch of cans on turn 7, 8, and then hopefully just find monkey rhino on turn 9. And by then, you'll probably have pretty good stats as well. So that's, like, the alternative instead of just getting extremely lucky like I did. But, yeah. So the monkey gives plus two, plus three, which means I guess it's going to have kind of uneven stats. It's going to have a lot more health than it is attack. But what can you do? Um, and I don't know what I'm rolling for here. I guess just like a turtle or pears are probably okay just for some scaling. I was thinking like maybe I should actually take garlic because I can't find melon armor until turn 11. I could maybe take splash attack. Like sometimes that's a kind of a fun build to go for. It's just a rhino with splash. You can get two kills at once, and then its ability goes off twice, so that's pretty cool. Kind of a bad matchup there. The camel <laughs> actually just lost a camel. The matchup giraffe versus camel, it turns out, did not go so well. Uh, I was thinking I could sell the giraffe here and go snail, but I don't really care about any of the other units. I just care about this giraffe, or not the just the rhino, so not really worth it. Uh, on the other hand, Cow is pretty nice. It does get plus 2, plus 4 for only 2 gold, so that is very much worth it on rounds 9 and 10. Sometimes you just want to roll for Scalar units instead, but like I'm just so focused on the Rhino that I figured I would go with it. And then I take a Penguin. I'm anticipating eventually getting this Rhino to level 2, but uh, not level 2 right now. Would be nice to get this Badger above 8 health just in case there's a Crocodile. But you can see the Rhino at level 1 is not really doing a lot. I'm continuing to lose, and now I'm on lethal. 
So this is pretty scary. I only have four wins as well. So like, am I actually going to win six in a row with Rhino? It doesn't seem very likely, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I can sell the Badger. I can sell the Penguin. Just fit in all the Tiger. And then eventually probably sell Mosquito, fit in the Fly. At least I guess that's the plan for now. And then just buy a cow, replace the Penguin with a Monkey. I didn't get level 2 Rhino right away. So now I just have a really beefy Rhino with no equipment, so that can be kind of problematic. Like, maybe I would have won these rounds if I'd just taken Garlic. Lucky Mosquito Snipe there, thank god that happened. We'd probably lose if that 40% chance didn't happen. And yeah, so now really want Melon, and also can look for Tiger, Snake, Fly. There's a lot of good tier 6s here that I want. And I guess that's kind of the thing with this build, is that it's mostly tier 5 and tier 6s, which can be pretty tricky to get later on because your odds of finding the units that you want on turn like 11 plus, you know, are pretty low because there's so many units available in the shop. But I have the snake, so we're slowly getting there, and level 1 monkey. Luckily, face a pretty weak team, and you can see the snake is actually, it's doing a lot of work here. Getting two rock throwers already, it's just, it's very satisfying, I have to say. The things that throw rocks are so satisfying. It's not quite the same in real life, I found. Like, throwing rocks, especially at animals, uh, seems to be pretty frowned upon. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, don't recommend doing that. Level 2 monkey, that's pretty nice. 3146, so really kind of weird stats. And I guess I can actually sell the monkey after next turn, because we're going to hit 50 health pretty quick. But, unless if I find, like, the tiger or the fly, then it's not really worth selling yet. Go for level 2 snake. There's the Tiger. I guess I decided to sell Badger just because I guess the extra attack can be pretty helpful. You still want to be able to punch through Melon Armor uh, if things have like, I don't know, 16 health, which could happen with Melon. I guess we'll find out here. Uh, pretty interesting team. Turtle, level 3 Sheep, and then Kangaroo with a Horse. Not really what I expected, but just absolutely blew their team out with that. Just the tiger, snake, rhino. That was very satisfying. Almost rolled past that rhino. I do tend to be a little bit rhino blind sometimes because I'm just so used to ignoring them. Almost rolled past that one as well, but there we go. Level 3 rhino next turn. How exciting. Don't have the fly. I can replace the uh, monkey now. Like 40, 50. Close enough. I don't think it needs more stats. And then look, a summon build. Oh, it's just so perfect. They do have a pretty beefy... Uh, rooster but the spawns just in front of it continue to happen and oh that was beautiful just absolutely crushed their summon build and now we get level three rhino i wish you could get like tiger snake tiger rhino to work but of course then the snake wouldn't really work very effectively because it'd be behind a tiger do get the fly this turn so next turn i can sell the monkey and get this fly in there and then get that extra tiger snake that's an extra 20 damage right there that's pretty nice and then back-to-back -back summon builds. This is just really surprising. I feel like I don't run into that many summon builds anymore, and you can see just pure destruction. Oh, it was so good. I actually brought it back. I didn't think we would get this lucky, but, like, ran into a couple summon builds at the end. That was great. Very fun build. Would recommend trying it out. And, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.